Uh, you you kind of glossed over this, but I have not had anybody on in 270 episodes. It was a Teal Fellow. Can you just describe that experience? Like, what what is it about? Uh, how did, did was it a positive impact on you? Like a little more on that. Absolutely. So, for for those who aren't familiar, the Teal Fellowship is a program that's put on by Peter Teal, and the idea is is to basically support young people who aren't going to college. I think that what's really interesting, and obviously that comes with grants and network and all that sort of fun stuff, but what's really interesting is there are probably two dynamics. Number one is how small the classes are. So it's about 20 people every year. Uh, and the, the acceptance rate is um, very, very small. They don't really publicly talk about the number of applicants, so I can't necessarily share, but it's a very small group of, of young entrepreneurs. And the other dynamic that's really interesting is its general purpose. Um, I think a lot of people think about it in the sense of how does this accelerate your career? How does this move you forward? But from my angle, building a company, especially at a young age, is a pretty lonely endeavor. You don't have many friends. Everyone you work with is far older than you, especially at that age. And so this idea that there are 20 other kids across the entire world who are your age and excited and passionate and want to build and that this brings them together and you have this sort of shared experience of starting a company at a young age and building it and all that sort of cool stuff is probably the most powerful dynamic. And so now the program, I think, is about 10 years old. So there's about 200 alumni, including the founder of Ethereum, uh, Dylan Field from Figma, the list sort of goes on and on. I think there was a study done that if the program was a, a, a venture studio, it would be one of the most successful venture firms and venture studios on the planet. So, so far, it's been, been really successful. And I would say the real benefit and the thing that I'm so appreciative of is that truly, I would have very few friends uh, if it wasn't for that program. And that's really invaluable, especially as a, as a business owner and entrepreneur. Again, it's such a lonely journey that the idea that he took the time to identify this group of kids who were truly alone and build some infrastructure around it was is something that's really beautiful. So that's awesome. So you so you if if we say that you left with friends, if I were to say from a business perspective, fill in the blank, prior to going to uh, Theo Fellowship, John was X. Post Teal Fellowship, John was X. Yeah, it's interesting because when I got into the Teal Fellowship, Coder had just raised its Series A, and our Series Seed was led by Founders Fund. So Peter and, and Founders Fund led the the seed, or I'm sorry, they didn't lead the seed; they participated in the seed. <clears throat> and so my path into the fellowship was a little bit different. I basically got a text from one of the partners at Founders Fund: "Hey, you should." check this out. Let me connect you with the folks over there. Typically, it's an application process where you apply and then your application gets reviewed and sort of go from that perspective. So I was a little bit different that the company was pretty far along. We're about 30-ish people and, and sort of off to the races. But I would say that the, the biggest impact that it had, aside from the personal dynamic, was really just the level of ambition because you're with these people who have goals that are just as high as yours, if not higher. And you also are able to see folks who are a few years older than you and just at a completely different stage, right? You're stoked you raised your Series A and they're working with bankers on their IPO. And so that dynamic is really critical. I think Paul Graham actually has a quote <clears throat> around the importance of being with ambitious people. And how if you're an ambitious person and you're not surrounded with other ambitious people, that ambition will die. And so it's something that you have to identify in yourself and really seek it out. 